everybody. Welcome back again. And NFL season is just around the corner, literally. Literally, I mean, I mean, if you if you turn your head and look, it's right there. <laughs> it is right there, right now. So we have some bad coaches to say hi to, yeah. and we have some good coaches to say hi to. Yes, we have some shocking teams to say, oh man, they're they're a whole lot better than I thought. And some disappointing teams that make you shake your head. I said, man, I thought they'd do a whole lot better than that. We've got a lot of interesting situations coming up. We've got a lot of new players going to new teams. We've got a lot of new coaches going to new teams. This is actually going to be. And I have looked forward to this year more than I have a lot of years in the past just because of all the change we got going on. Normally, we will recap the previous week. But this is week one. This is week one. So there's <laughs> not going to be a previous week. This is this is, this is is the week. This is week one. We can't go back to week zero because that's there, the preseason. That is the, that is the preseason. So, so what we'll do, we'll just jump right into the, to the games coming up for week one, uh, give a little discussion on them, and uh, give you our predictions on them. Uh, starting with Thursday night football. The we Lions have... at the Chiefs. Oh, my. The defending <laughs> Super Bowl champion, led by Patrick Mahomes and his band of Chiefs. The band of Chiefs. Now, the only, the only bad thing uh, for the Chiefs right now is, you know, I think they've got one holdout player a little, a little bit. Uh, Did he come back in, Jones? Uh, he's still dealing with the contract holdout. I was saying and so. And Travis Kelsey dealing Travis with Kelsey, that high knee sprain. And Travis Kelsey has a high knee sprain, so he's doubtful for tonight. So uh, that the line actually opened up at, at six and a half, and it's dropped to four. I'd still uh, take the Chiefs I because would probably, Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. I mean, we thought he was out last year whenever they locked Tyreek Hill. And then he won the Super Bowl, so I'm not going <laughs> to. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. That. I know everybody's thinking, well, Kelsey's out. Let's drop the line two and a half points. I don't know if that matters with Kelsey. Me, I'm no, don't, don't be wrong, Joe. Kelsey's a huge part, but Tyree Hill was a too. Huge part. Tyree, but... I mean Tyree, Tyree Hill was a huge part of it too. And then they still won the Super Bowl without him. So, uh, yeah, we would definitely take the Chiefs minus four on that. Now I'm uh, I'm a little softy Lions fans now because Hendon Hendon Hooker has been drafted by the Lions. He went to the Lions. He's still not active. He's uh, dealing uh, with that ACL tear. He's uh, healing up from from that ACL tear, but they're they are uh, they are leaving him active to where maybe he can uh, come on the team at some point this year. Uh, so I I don't think the Lions I don't know I don't think the Lions are a bad team this year either. I think the Lions probably win their division. But it's still – we're playing against the Super Bowl champ Chiefs right here, and uh, I think the Chiefs will want to come out. And, and they might even be more focused with uh, Kelsey out than with Kelsey in on game one, if that makes any sense whatsoever. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Jumping into Sunday's game, we have, we have no Saturday games. Jumping into Sunday's game, right off the bat, we got uh, your Panthers – Against at, the Falcons. At the Falcons. It depends on how the offensive line does because this mm -hmm. is going to be a huge factor for the game. Yeah, uh, I think the Panthers probably have, probably they, no doubt, they have the best young coaching staff that is out there. They've got some fantastic coaches, and, and I'm a huge uh, a fan of your quarterback, too. Oh, Bryce Young. I am a huge. Uh, oh, now the tables turn. I was rooting against him last year, and now my Now team, we're rooting for him. But honestly, watching him play last year at Alabama, he literally carried the he team. He really, he was really fantastic. So, so I'm really thinking that the Panthers got a got a good quarterback there. My question is the same as yours: the offensive line. How's that offensive line going to do? I don't know. Is it a leaky bucket or is it a sturdy, solid, solid, beefy wall? Yeah. So I don't know. They started out a little iffy, a, a little questionable, uh, but. That's going to play a huge factor, but Bryce has mm. shown that he's mature enough to throw the yeah. ball away. The the Falcons, I don't know about the Falcons. The Falcons are sort of up the in Falcons, the air, too. The uh, Falcons have actually had a little hype at, behind them, but I don't know how they're really going to do. No. F the Falcons are favored by three and a half in a Atlanta. I'm going to probably – honestly, I'm going to go Panthers just till I see. I think they've got all of the talent to win if the offensive line holds. We just gotta see if the offensive line holds. Now the Falcons may come out and just jump all over them, but I'm gonna go Panthers starting out. We've got uh, my Dallas Cowboys. I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Sorry, I know, hey, boo, everybody. But I, <laughs> I grew up a Dallas Cowboy fan, so I gotta, uh, I gotta be a Dallas Cowboy fan. I mean, fan. you gotta be a little more energized this time around. You're free of Kellen Moore. For hallelujah! Thank you. You're free of we Kellen are free Moore. Free of Kellen Moore. 
I was not a you know, Kellen Moore was Dallas's offensive coordinator for the past what four or five years, and, and to say the least, he was below average at best. The Cowboys would have the uh, they would be scoring the most points in the league and losing games. Out. Now you got Brian Schottenheimer in in his yeah. place, so yeah. let's see how it changes. I am curious to see how the how the uh, the Cowboys go. They are at the Giants, which is another team with hype. Yeah, you know, Dallas is favored by uh, by three and a half. Uh, just because I'm a Cowboys fan, I probably have to take the Cowboys minus three and a half. But I really question the Cowboys. And until the Cowboys prove something to me, I'm questioning the Cowboys. Even as, even, even as a Cowboys fan, I'm questioning the Cowboys until they show me something. You know? Uh, especially with the Giants because the Giants. Uh, they got Jalen Hyatt in the draft. And It'll be a steal. And they finished out pretty good last year. So Daniel I'm, Jones finally has that deep threat. I'm picking the Cowboys, but the Giants are probably going to win, to be honest. <laughs> Even though the powers of Dan Quinn. Yeah, the, now now Dallas's defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn. He's a great mind. He's a uh, – that's probably the – that's the One best – One of the best defensive That's the best thing Jerry Jones has done, I don't know, in – 15, since he hired Jimmy Johnson. 15, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah since Jerry Jones was signed Quinn on for another few years. Because Quinn is a fantastic defensive coordinator. Uh, and we'll find out this year if the offense can do anything at all. Uh, besides go 10 and 6, 11 and 7, and then lose in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, we got the Texans at the Ravens. Speaking of losses, the Texans will be dealt a plenty of those this season. Yeah, I think the Ravens too. The Ravens are trying to. Uh, I think the Ravens are going to push this year. I think they're going to push. They're really going to. Got a new O coordinator. Got some new weapons on the offensive side. Yeah, the the quarterbacks uh, finally got his long term contract. Everybody's happy at at ease. They've had the whole preseason. Uh, Ravens are favored by nine and a half. Nine and a half points in the NFL is a, is a, is a lot of points because you, you normally don't score 63 points in the NFL. Unless the defense is historically yeah. bad. But honestly, I'm going to take the Ravens minus nine and a half. I just got a feeling the Ravens are going to push this year. You know, this might be a 37 to 17 game or something like that, you know. Uh, we got the Cincinnati Bengals at the Cleveland Browns. Now, Cleveland is going to be a literal boomer bust team. Yeah. Cincinnati's only favored by two in Cleveland. Uh, I'm going to take the Bengals because I just don't trust the Browns yet. I don't trust some of the – they can get – the Browns have done everything right outside of quarterback. Mm -hmm. They've assembled a good enough team, but – I, uh, With the quarterback I, position, that's going to be the ultimate question mark. De Deshaun Watson did not impress me last year. I'm just going to be honest. He didn't. And uh, then you got Joe Burrow, who has consistently impressed in the postseason, too, in particular. Yeah. Uh, and I think, you know, this might be the Bengals' year. So, uh, the Cincinnati's only favorite by two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Cincinnati. Uh, we got the Buccaneers at the Vikings. A new era for Tampa. A Baker new era for Mayfield Tampa. is in. Baker Mayfield is in, but the the coach is still. Todd Bowles. Todd Bowles. Todd Bowles is the only uh, NFL coach who lost. He had a losing season. With Tom Brady. With Tom Brady. I don't know how you can Just have Just think a, about that. Think yeah. about it for a second. Yeah, he had a losing season with Tom Brady, and now he's got Baker Mayfield. And I'm a Baker Mayfield fan, honestly. That, the but he, Baker Mayfield's not Tom <laughs> Brady, though. So if you're going to have a losing season with uh, Tom then, Brady. You can't have a winning season. I don't think you're going to have a winning season with Baker Mayfield, no. Vikings are favored by five and a half. I'll take the Vikings. He deserves on better than Todd Bowles as Do you a like coach. that? Do you like that pick? Do you like it? <laughs> I don't no sir I don't like I don't like Todd Bowles as a as a head coach. No, I'm not much of a Todd Bowles fan either. Uh, he's a good defensive coordinator. He's, a, he's, he's he's probably one of the best defensive coordinators in the game now when bar he's, none. When he's just doing When he's just doing defense, yeah. Uh, when he steps up to the head coach, the teams have struggled that he's been the head coach of. Uh again, the Vikings, I think the Vikings have a bunch of talent. I don't think they win their division. Uh, but Justin but Jefferson got a bunch of is a phenomenal athlete. I love Justin Jefferson. Yeah, he's a, he's just yeah he's fantastic. Uh, we got the Titans at the Saints. And now the, the Saints, Saints. Well, this could be the Titans are free of the prison known as Todd Downing. Mm -hmm. So this is the first game without Todd Downing in at least a couple of years. 
The Titans are at the Saints, and the and, Saints are favored. Uh, Joe Woods is their defensive coordinator, though. Mm. So I don't know how much the Saints defense will approve because I've had a bone to pick with Joe Woods. Joe in Woods. The past. Yeah, he plays a lot of cover zero and not your standard cover zero. There's he zero plays people the, covering people. The classic scrambled chicken with their heads cut off. <laughs> yeah, he does. His, his defense is a little questionable sometimes. I'm going to, if I've got, if I'm catching three of the Titans, I'm probably going to take the Titans. Derek Carr is also there, and John Gruden's a little bit of involvement under the scenes. I think their offense will be pretty good because uh, I've always been a little bit of a soft spot for Derek Carr, too, when he was at uh, He Oakland. got dealt a terrible I think hand. he got shafted a little bit out there, yeah. Uh, but uh, I got the Titans plus three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take the Titans because I'm not sure if the Saints can stop Derek Henry. And from what I understand right now, the Titans are coming into this season more healthy than they have in a long time. They don't have any – all of their stars are in good shape right now. This so. is – do you think this is variable's year to get it going? No. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, they they have a – they they sort of have a bad – bad – I don't know what do you call it. Bad, bad quarterback. Of, bad picking quarterbacks also. They have a bad time picking quarterbacks sometimes, too. Uh, I don't trust their, their quarterback. They've got some good wide receivers. They've got the best running back in the game. But I don't trust their quarterback. But I still think they can. They should be able to go to the Saints and beat a, a first-year system team. Uh, we got the Jaguars at the Colts. The Jaguars should murder the Colts. The Colts have been stuck in a proverbial uh, cycle mm. of hype with a new quarterback and disappointment. They're going to go away from that and choose their future with Anthony Richardson at quarterback officially. I don't I think actually to written now. Don't know. He's a fantastic athlete. He can throw the ball. He can surely 50, run that 60 ball. 60 yards. He can run the ball. But the but, Colts uh, need to do is build up his quarterback IQ. He looked bad at Florida though, throwing the ball. It's hard for me to be confident in an NFL quarterback when he couldn't throw the ball in college. What makes you think at least accurately? Yeah. What makes you think he's going to come into the NFL and be more accurate against better competition? Uh, it's going to take at least at so, the very, I, I'm going to try to be the optimist here mm -hmm. and say it's going to take a few years. Yeah, I don't. He's I, like a raw piece of steak on the grill. I, I don't say he's a bust, but he ain't going to come in right off the bat and be an accurate passer because he hasn't been one up to this point. Uh, we got the 49ers at the Steelers. This should be a good game. The 49ers got a new defensive coordinator out there. Yeah. But they got a, as much talent on that defense as any in the NFL. Uh -huh. And with the Steelers, Kenny Pickett is going to take that next step. I think this is and the Najee year that Harris he takes. And Harris has also. And he's got a decent bit of receiving help. Yeah. I think the Steelers continue their winning tradition. Do you think they start out winning against the 49ers? I doubt it because the 49ers have just a bunch of defensive talent. I don't know Me how too. much. Me uh, too. The San Francisco is favored by two and a half at Pittsburgh. That tells you a little bit of something. If somebody's at Pittsburgh and favored. Uh, they got a good team. They got a good team. At a neutral side, it'd be a even. And and uh, I mean, at a, at a, at a neutral side, it'd, it would be uh, five and a half points. And at the 49ers, it would be more. So I would probably take the 49ers right off the bat. I'm not counting out the Steelers. The Steelers may win this, but I think this is the 49ers year maybe uh, to go pretty uh, a pretty long way. Uh, we got the Cardinals at the – it's still hard for me to say. Commanders. Uh, for a good no positive note for the Cardinals. Some people may take it as a negative, but mm. Josh Dobbs is our starting quarterback for the Cardinals. Yes. Week one. Josh Dobbs uh, was at the uh, Browns up until about a week and a half ago. And now he's jettisoned to be the starting quarterback for the Arizona mm. Cardinals. Washington is favored by seven. And I'll see, uh, I think that's a little too much. Washington still may win the game. Because Eric it's the in enemy Washington. is the new play caller. Yeah. So that offense could improve. They've been struggling connecting with the enemy, though. Some of the players have been complaining about how tough he is. So... Uh, the reason I'm okay with Josh Dobbs coming into that offense only after about a couple weeks of being there was because the offensive coordinator was the same one he played with last year. So he knows the system. He's not coming in and learning Hopefully anything Hopefully it's not new. Todd Downing. No. He's, <laughs> he's not. Oh, no. He's not learning anything new. It's the same system that he was in last year. So it's the same verbiage, the same play calls, the same everything. So he's coming in to the Cardinals, which has got a, a pretty good receiver or, or two. 
you wouldn't think. Yeah, you yet. would think. They've got a pretty good receiver or two. So uh, the line seven, I'm going to take Cardinals plus the seven, but I think the Commanders probably 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 still win it. We got the Raiders at the Broncos. Josh McDaniels is a joke of a head coach. He is. Josh, Josh McDaniels, yeah. Uh, he ran off Derek Carr. He had so many just baby poop excuses in the press conference of why his teams failed. And I like to emphasize his team. Yeah, his team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the Broncos are supposed to be vastly improved this year with the new head coach. Sean Payton. Yeah, Sean the Payton. The Broncos figured out what they needed to do to run an organization, unlike the Raiders. Get, uh, get, a, uh, get a very well-established coach. Sean Payton is fantastic. He, he's won a Super Bowl. Yeah. He's uh, went to the NFC Championship game quite a few times. And he's an offensive guru. He is great with uh, quarterbacks. An actual offensive guru. Yeah. Not the Hackett kind of guru that people no. say that. People say that he is. Yeah, uh, the Broncos are favored by three and a half. I think the Broncos pull that pretty good. We got the Dolphins at the Chargers. Oh, my goodness. The Dolphins, I think they should win this game because I feel like the car, the Chargers coaching staff will hold them back. Yeah, the Chargers coach, they honestly should have probably fired their head coach last year. Brandon Staley had a 27. I will not stop until <laughs> something is done about this. A 27-point lead and in, in a playoff game. In a playoff game. just In what quarter? The third and fourth <laughs> quarters. He had 27-point lead in the second half of the game and couldn't coach well enough and to plus win the game. And he added Kellen Moore to that. And now Kellen Moore left the Cowboys. There will, what, there will be no slants called in that offense because Kellen Moore does not call any kind of crossing patterns. Did, They're all just did Brandon goals. Staley get tricked by the points per game? I, well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But... Uh, the Dolphins, I think the Dolphins win. The Chargers are favored by three, but I think the Dolphins, the Dolphins win. I will give credit to them. They build a great team around Tua. It's up yeah. to him now yeah. to step up. Yeah, th th you're right. This is probably the, the make or break year, maybe for Tua. He's got to perform. Because they have put some really good pieces around him. Now they? added Jalen Ramsey. Now they got a good defensive piece around him, too. And so. now it's up to him to step up to the plate and hit that mm -hmm. home run. Yeah. We've got the Eagles at the Patriots. The Patriots should be significantly better with Bill O'Brien compared to whatever they had last year. Yeah, but I don't think they beat the Eagles, though. No. No. I, I think Jalen Hurts. Is Jalen Hurts. Is Jalen, I, I think he's still a very good quarterback. He's, he's a dual threat he's a, guy. He is a dual threat who can throw the ball really, really well. He doesn't, he, he doesn't run too much. He runs just enough to get what he needs. He does a lot of quarterback sneaks, let me tell you that much. Mm -hmm. The Eagles are favored by four. I honestly probably think they beat the Patriots by those four. Uh, we got the Packers at the Bears. Classic rivalry that spanned over 100 years of football history. And normally you would think uh, the Packers would Aaron Rodgers at the Packers. But Aaron Rodgers isn't here. Aaron Rodgers isn't at the Packers. We got who? Jordan Love. And then we got Justin Fields still over there trying to get his footing as a Bear. Yeah. But I still think the Packers will be struggling a little bit to get their new identity. So post, you're saying the Bears Aaron Rodgers. are the Bears going to vanquish the Packers? I think the Packers beat the Bears. I mean, I, I think the Bears beat the Packers. Yeah, I do. How the tables turn, and how the tables turn, and how the tables turn. Yeah, and again, I think this is just this is Justin Fields. He needs to show something this year. He needs to. He needs to show that he's taking the next step, He had too. some flashes last year. Let's see yeah. if he can continue to build on that. That's right. He needs to take that step. He needs to He needs to do it. We got the Rams at the, the Seahawks. I think uh, Geno Smith, if he played like he did last year, he was a welcome surprise last Gino, season. Geno looked pretty good in preseason so far. He's uh, He sort of looked like Geno from last year. So, if he plays like Geno from last year, then the Seahawks will be in the playoffs once again. Mm -hmm. The Rams have fallen off of a cliff. They sold everything to get that Super Bowl a couple of years ago. They're and paying for it right now. They got it, and now the cupboard is bare. Yep. All of the older That's players what have got too old. That's what happens when you trade away all of your draft picks. Yeah. They got them a good Super Bowl. <laughs> but it's it went it went it went by pretty darn quick. And then one last game for week 1, our Monday night game, which should be a fantastic game. The Bills at the Jets. Bills at the Jets. Aaron Rodgers debut in a Jet uniform against Josh Allen. Against Josh Allen. So we got Josh Allen versus 
Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. That should be just a great. I mean, it's 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 games like that that just make me go, man. I love. I love some football. And they're going to play just... each other again because they're a division team. Exactly. But why not right off the bat? Why not the first yep. Monday night game <laughs> giving us that? And you got Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, which I think are very improved and underrated these yeah, days. I like them. I like them a lot, too. Uh, and then you got the Peyton Manning cast, which I highly recommend. I love that. the Manning cast. The Manning cast is so fun. Uh, but... Uh, you know, don't watch the Manning cast if you really want to get into the game heavy because you'll start watching them so much you won't pay attention to the game because <laughs> they're so fun to watch. Uh, Buffalo's favored by two and a half over the Jets at the Jets. What do you th what do you what do you think about that? Well, uh, does Aaron Rodgers this is a duel knock the between... Bills off the perch in well, game one? It really depends on how game the play one? call play calling is going to be huge. Play calling. Nathaniel mm. Hackett's the offensive coordinator of the Jets. We saw what he did with the Broncos last year, but but he Hackett was uh, Aaron Rodgers' offensive coordinator for the past Packers few, for the past few years. So and then we got Ken Dorsey mm. over there in Buffalo. So let's see who out schemes the other. Really, yeah, I have to pick Buffalo. I want to pick. I, I think this is Buffalo. I think Buffalo needs to do something soon, or they're going to implode. I know. I've just got that feeling. You know that. Or else Stefan Diggs might go off like a dynamite stick. I think they might. I think they might splinter down a little bit, drop back, you know, drop down to a ten-win team, and then have to revamp a little bit. I, I think Josh Allen's their quarterback long-term, long ways, but with the current roster they've got, they need to do something this year. Super Bowl or bust. At least the AFC Championship game. They need to get in that game and sh and show some spark, show some attitude. Show Last some year moxie, they kind you know. of fizzled out, but yeah. they need to Ken get Dorsey's that mojo. First, Ken, Ken Dorsey's first year with their as, as their as their offensive coordinator, and I'm the strange person that thinks coaching is 75 percent of the game. And some people think players, players are 85 percent of the game. game. I'm 75 percent coaches because you can take great players, but if you don't put them in, in good situations, they're going to look average. So. Uh, but I, I've got to I've got to pick Bills minus two and a half. I've I've got to pick the Bills win, and I, I, I'm not accepting them being knocked off the perch yet. Now, halfway through the year, we may realize, you know, maybe, maybe they're off that. Maybe perch. they're off. Maybe that perch. they're back to making those buffalo wings. I like those wings. Oh, hey, hey, that was that was where buffalo wings were <laughs> were, were actually started with up there. <laughs> But anyways, that is our first week of NFL Week 1. Uh, again, we thank you for stopping by. Taking, and taking welcome a little aboard time our pigskin train. Welcome aboard. Come on in. Share us with your friends out there. Tell us how stupid we are. Uh, thanks again for... Uh, Tell us if one of our predictions are so wrong that we should probably not beat broadcasting. Yeah, I, I guarantee you something in there is terrible. <laughs> but uh, thanks uh, uh, thanks again for SevereTV.com for this beautiful, lovely set back here that we have. Uh, thanks again for Autographs Plus uh, for sponsoring us. They got uh, two stores, one in Sevierville, one in Pizza Forge. So be sure to go by and uh, check them out. Uh, other than that, I guess we're on to week two of the NFL See next week. See you next week. See you next week.